If you're looking for help fixing your Twin Eagles gas patio heater, look no further. Our comprehensive Twin Eagles gas patio heater repair guide will explain common issues, provide tips, and maybe show you how to repair your appliance. Igniter won't fire up. One common way that gas patio heaters ignite is through an igniter. Much like with a barbecue starter, it creates a spark that ignites the gas released by the tank which causes a controlled flame to shoot up through the tube. This controlled flame is what creates the heat and warms up the space around the patio heater. If the flame isn't catching and you're sure that the gas tank still has juice left to squeeze, then chances are your igniter is the issue. The best way to check for this issue is to use a lighter to create the flame. If you're able to get the patio heater working with an outside source of flame, then the igniter is out and needs to be replaced. Before removing your igniter, check to see if it's producing any sparks. Remove the casing around the igniter and attempt to light the heater. If no sparks occur, then your igniter is in need of replacement. Replacing your igniter is simple and can be done with your hands and a wrench. Simply remove the nut that is attached to the igniter with a wrench and then detach the wiring with your hands. Purchase a new igniter that works with your heater and reattach it. It's that simple and you'll have a working patio heater in no time. No pilot light. This issue can easily be spotted on some models but can be much more difficult to pinpoint on others. If you can see the pilot light when it's active, then you'll easily be able to tell if it's out or not. If you don't have a line of sight to the pilot light, you might need to run some tests to determine if this is what's causing the problem. The issue that is associated with a faulty pilot light is the same as with the igniter. If the heater doesn't light up, it's time to check the internal components. Once you've taken apart the heater to find the igniter, test it to see what's causing the issue. If the igniter produces sparks but the flame still isn't lighting, then the problem is probably your pilot light. This is caused when the gas line supply to your pilot light is cut off for whatever reason and your pilot light won't stay lit. When this is the problem, it's time to unclog the line. The gas line that supplies the pilot light is small and will need a tool that can fit inside it. Small, thin tweezers, a toothpick, or a sewing needle should do the trick. Start by removing the screen and uncovering the ignition ensemble. Remove the pilot light from the gas line and now you'll be able to see the clog. Remove whatever is clogging the line and place everything back together. If you cannot reach the clog, use compressed air to force the clog out. Low heat levels. This is specific to gas heaters. If your patio heater uses electricity and you're experiencing low heat levels, then that is a different issue that will be talked about under faulty electric heater. If your propane patio heater is experiencing a lower amount of heat, this could be due to a leak somewhere in the gas line process. While this might not be much of a threat to your patio heater, gas leaks should always be handled with caution for your health and safety. The first step to fixing this issue is to locate the kink or break in the gas line. This can be done by simply finding the spot where the gas line looks compromised. Some line breaks need special care to locate an issue and should be done with a leak detection spray. Once you've found the problem area in the line, it's time to start repairs to build up the amount of gas being supplied. This can be done by detaching the segment of the gas line that is damaged with a wrench and replacing it with a new one. It's important to get the right size gas line. Otherwise, you might find yourself with a new leak or pressure failure. The reduced heat is caused by less gas being supplied. So the new, undamaged line should be enough to get your patio heater back to producing at full capacity. Faulty electric heater. While electric heaters are certainly easier to use and maintain, they do come with one problem that can be quite difficult to fix. Faulty wiring. Gas and propane patio heaters have the advantage of most components being easy to access and fix. But electric heaters are much more intricate. If your electric heater isn't igniting or starts and stops shortly after, then chances are you have a faulty wire. Signs to keep an eye out for which may indicate faulty wiring or frayed wires, corrosion, or broken lining. These are typically caused by exposure to weather, rodents, birds, or simply extensive use over time. Sometimes too much use can cause your wires to fray and break. One easy way to prevent the damage of internal wiring is to move your patio heater inside when you're not using it. This protects it from the elements and enables you to use it longer. Unfortunately, Faulty wiring cannot be fixed at home and will need to be replaced. I do not recommend doing the replacement yourself. Unless you are a trained electrician or electrical engineer. 
as this could be quite dangerous when done by an amateur. If the wiring is done incorrectly, your heater might not work properly, or it could become a ball of flames. Let a professional handle wiring issues on your electric patio heater. The best way to resolve this issue is to take preventative care to ensure it doesn't occur in the first place. Loose connections. Sometimes, the answer is as simple as a loose bolt or connection. This can occur when moving the patio heater or while placing a new propane tank in the bottom. Sometimes bolts can just get rattled and come loose over time. Fixing this problem is as simple as locating the loose connection and tightening it. You likely won't have to search for a professional to come out and help you deal with this issue. However, finding the loose connection can be tougher than you might think. One easy way to combat this obstacle is to make note of what is being affected. Once you know what the problem is, you'll have a better idea of where to look. If the flame isn't working, check the ignition. If the heat isn't as strong, look to the wiring or gas lines. Once you've found the area where a loose connection might be, it becomes much easier to find the faulty connection. You can use a wrench or sometimes even just your hand to adjust the connection and get everything working again. Sometimes, loose connections are the problem. And other times, they lead to the root of the issue. You might find yourself fixing a connection that is tied to a deeper problem plaguing your patio heater. What might start as a loose gas line could end up showing you a crack in the line you otherwise might have missed. 